things. No, we're here because we're going to have a little magic show. And I'm going to show y'all tonight the world's oldest magic trick. This thing is called the cups and balls, and I'm going to show it to you right now. And uh, I'm going to show you the cups and balls. Uh, <laughs> And uh, folks, this ain't it. I, listen, I uh, I don't actually do rope tricks at this particular point in my act. I promise I will come back and do a rope trick for you in a minute, but not right now. We'll get back to that. Because what I want to show y'all tonight is in fact the oldest magic trick in the world. Now, I myself have been to the pyramids of Egypt two times. Both times I went to a tomb that's outside the pyramid. And in that tomb, I saw the cartouche of two men doing this trick. And I'm gonna show it to you right now the same way you'd have seen it a million years ago in the Stone Age when this thing was invented, okay? Because this right here, folks, you're gonna see in 60 seconds, this is the world's first magic from the dawn of days. It is the cups and balls, only done the hard way. I have three brass cups and three balls of steel. Now we'll cover up the balls so the cups can seal. And then we'll take ball one from beneath its cup, put it over in the pocket, lift this one up. Ball number three joins ball number one, but we'll leave ball two where that ball begun and ball number one is back over here. We'll put that back in the pocket. What should appear over here beneath cup number three? Well, let's ball back to as you can plainly see. Ball number three goes back in there. Lift up the center cup. I do declare that all three balls are in here now. We'll put them up top and then we'll see how these two side cups hold bigger ball bearings. We'll put those up top. Now that center cup's wearing his three puny balls. Well, we just put them away lift up that center cup to display this much bigger ball. But even more daring, ladies and gentlemen, Conan, the ball bear. <laughs> and that's the cups and balls in one minute, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. And yes, as you can see, the ball bearings are indeed at the gates. Now, I did tell you that I was going to do a rope trick for you, and I am, but what y'all have to remember is that I'm an old-timey magician, and that all of my tricks are old-timey tricks, including this one. This is a very old rope trick. I know because I only use very old ropes <laughs> to do it, and very old jokes. <laughs> In my hands, I have two bits of rope. Now, one is too short, so here's how we cope. We put the ends together like this and like this, and then we'll just pull the rope through the fist so that now you can see that of equal length. And to give what you're seeing even more strength, we're going to tie them together. You see, here's the knot. Two ropes tied together is what we've got, but now that knot is unsightly, so we just put that away. <laughs> and that leaves one length of rope on display, which is not much fun, so we just tie the knot back in and then we'll slide it off the rope again so that now it's a loop. <laughs> well, we just tie that back on with, say, abracadabra, and now the loop is gone. Any magic involved, all I can say is, nope, nothing special here, folks. It's just a rope. <laughs> Same as you'd find in any bedroom. <laughs> Boy. Now, folks, like I say, I'm an old time and magician. If you'd been living here in Austin 100 years ago, you'd have seen a guy like me coming through here riding on a, a mule and dragging a donkey along behind him. Well, one of the tricks that would have been on that donkey's back is this thing right here. I'm going to show it to you tonight the same way you'd have seen it 100 years ago right here on the streets of Austin. Because for 2,000 years, they have mystified the honored guests who've seen this ancient Chinese mystery, the rhyming of the rings. Six separate rings of solid steel, all shining silvery rounds, each welded smooth, each perfect form. And yet they will confound the rings of solid circlets as you can hear and see. But now watch, the metal penetrates as easy as can be. I spin this ring, it's smooth as glass, and listen how it sings, switch over, and spin the other now two solid. Linking rings. Now we generate a bit of heat. 
with metal upon metal. The steel becomes a liquid now, and like two flowers, petals, as noiseless as a butterfly, as graceful as a swan, will separate the pair of rings. So now there's one and more. And engineering feet, they are, same size one as another. They jam in all futility, one won't pass through the other, and yet to use some magic spells by those of us who've got them enable easy passage through, but uh, only at the bottom. Now their music's bright and cheerful. They ring like chiming bells. Clear tones are proof and positive. They're solid made of well. But if I crash the rings together, they form a two-ring pass like this one down my forearm, and it jumps inside of there now in just an instant. One springs out from the two, and watch this separation. Man, the metal flows right through. Now, here's a ring. I spin it. And I spin this one, too. Now I spin the third one. It joins the other two. And now the three begins to spin. A vision of them blurred. And now we bring them to a stop to see what has occurred to find. <laughs> they pass through me. <laughs> and look, I got another hit. Two steps to go the plane. I crash the sets together. And now we have... <laughs> Uh, a mess. <laughs> I'll flip this one ring over here. Something to work with. Yes. With this, I'll form a garden chair. You can see it rocking. We'll fold it up. Yeah, now it's a globe with the rings together locking. Maybe it's old Mickey Mouse with his ears dangling. Now, look what happens to it now. It forms a flower's crown. The flower will. What is this thing? A knotted metal tangle? <laughs> but look, I got a six-link chain of sparkling silver bangles. Collapse the chain. Yeah. We tidy it up. We count them one by one. Six separate rings we started with. Now that we're all done, six separate rings now finished. So now, you've all seen magic done as poetry, the rhyme of the ring. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.